why by what process would a prophet who is described as being alive in 634 why by the time you get to you know 800 AD why would they think that he'd been dead by then you know why, why do they say well he died in 632 before the invasions begin well there is an obvious biblical parallel to what is going on and again it's Moses and Moses is the key figure here because Moses is the, the prophet who is most mentioned in in the Quran he leads an exodus and that essentially is what Muhammad is famous for Hijra is 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 an exodus supposedly from Mecca to Medina but what happens to Moses does Moses lead the invasion of uh, of, of Canaan of the promised land in the Bible no he doesn't he dies before the Israelites cross the Jordan and 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 Muhammad is clearly being modeled on Moses and, and so you can see how over the course of time it becomes incumbent on people looking to him as the greatest of the prophets if they're going to model him on Moses he cannot play the role of Joshua as well he has to die before the Arabs enter the promised land and of course in time the, the the role that the promised land plays in this kind of proto-islam gets buried because the because the arabs end up conquering an empire that's vastly greater but what it clearly does reflect is a desire to cast muhammad as someone who is modeled on the example of the biblical prophets and above all on moses because moses is a guy who leads his people into a promised land. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.